Hi all, welcome back. Hal here with more 7 Days to Die. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I have made a little bit of progress on the, uh, the new underground bunker entrance. This is actually below the tower that was completed last time. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. <clears throat> Mostly uh, the, the bulk of the mining stuff. Because it's even in time acceleration with really cool music, it's still kind of boring to watch <laughs> for a couple of episodes. So, uh, what I'm going to be doing today is just working on finishing this area, which is actually, like I said, the uh, the intermediate level um, that's on the same level as where the uh, the original bunker was. And the, the ladder goes all the way down to bedrock, so eventually, once this is done, I'll be downstairs uh, working on an actual cra a long-term crafting area. So, uh, yeah, because of the, <laughs> the new <laughs> increased spawn rate for the zombies, I figured my defenses were lacking a little bit, so I'm going to secure the hell out of the area. Which means rebar and concrete everywhere. Um, better to be safe than sorry. I mean, really, um, yeah, the that horde just uh, th three deaths in, what, less than five minutes? Yeah, it wasn't a fun time. Well, it was fun, but <laughs> just not the, wasn't the kind of fun that I was hoping for. So, uh, yeah. Um, so this, will hold, this whole thing will actually be a, a reinforced concrete hallway leading back into the forge area eventually. Um, I should have enough resources to mostly finish at least the walls and uh, the uh, the ceiling for the hallway. And then when it when it dries, there will actually be a uh, re metal reinforced door leading into the area going down. Um, just in case any of the zombies do actually make it into the the tunnels. I, I want to be able to have a an area that I can duck into. So I'm I'm hoping once it's done, it shouldn't be too much of an issue for uh, the heat map. I know with the the way that the zombies are spawning now, and the the fact that they like to tunnel into things, um, does make it a little bit more interesting. So interesting, good, interesting, bad. Uh, that's negotiable. So. So we'll see how it actually works out once it's all done. Uh, so for those who haven't been following uh, the Fun Pimps at, on their the, their forums and blogs, Mad Mole and crew have actually made an update showing some of the new the environmentals for the day night cycle as well as the uh, the new sky textures. So what they're saying is, is while Alpha Eleven was supposed to have the the dark, the pitch black nights and cave systems, it wasn't quite dark enough for them. So Alpha 12 looks like it is going to be pretty much pitch black at night. If you don't have light sources, you're not going to be in a very good situation. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to have to widen this then. Alright, uh, because I want it to be concrete all the way back here and off to the left. So, yeah. Okay. So you get to see some digging after all. This is going to be short and painless, don't worry about it. Alright, so, um, yeah, once this is done, it's just going to be more water. I want to keep this uh, a night, a nice and narrow, constrained area, because I, I don't want the zombies being able to, you know, basically stock, stack up into the hallway and, uh, you know, bum rush if I'm, if I'm in here defending, so. Okay. Uh, let's fill all this in. Every little bit of, every bit of stone helps, so. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, was Mad Mole and company have, uh, been releasing some screenshots of the, the new environmentals and the night picks like it ju even just like the twilight stuff, um, early evening, you know, or late evening, early mornings. Yeah, it is 
dark. I mean, it, the the screen the screen grabs that they've shown are pretty much pitch black, which may or may not be a good thing in the long run. Um, it's definitely going to change the way that people are playing the game. Um, I think that if they actually go through with this, um, knights are going to be pretty much unplayable for a lot of people. Uh, I know that there are some people who are playing that actually have problems with uh, the contrast as it is with the darkness where they they really need a, a light source to to even function in the game and i think that what you're going to run into is that for the for those people they're not really going to be able to play it at night um i'm hoping that this also means that the power generation system may be um, unannounced in this alpha in the next alpha um because they've been talking about it for a while where they're going to have a power system in place where you'll have a generator and you'll be able to run the wires and the lights and everything. So I'm really, really hopeful that that type of um, gameplay will be put into the game sooner rather than later. It would make sense. Um, I do think that this is probably leading up to that. Especially now that the uh, the vehicles are starting to go in because we're gonna, the dirt bike and the... Um, the motorcycle, the upgradable motorcycle, are both supposed to be going in in Alpha 12. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how that actually plays out. Okay. Yeah, and sorry if I sound a little bit tired tonight. It's uh, just after midnight local time for me, so... Oh. Yeah, I fell asleep earlier, so figured, whoops, I... Uh, <coughs> Almost forgot about that. Megan, sure an episode was up for you guys today. Uh, make some more rebar here. So, and I will also eventually, probably in the near future, uh, start working on the wall behind the the uh, the cooking stations. Do I want to haul this out? Yeah. Screw it. I'll just deal with this for now. So yeah, like I said, this is all going to be, you know, as you can see, I'm, I'm going to rebar the hell out of this. And for something that isn't going to be probably a base that I'm using actively for much longer, I mean, at this point, once this is done, I'm really only going to be using this to do uh, resource refinement so I can get a couple of some stockpiles of goods going. Hmm. Because what I want to do is, like I said before, is I'm going to use this, get the resources built, and then find a base, an area to build a much longer term base, and hopefully a little closer to Hub City. Because with like with the way that things are spawning now, I really need a readily available source for things like uh, the medicines and things. Because as you can see, I am once again infected. So uh, yeah. So this is the the new hallway area. Let's see what we got here. Okay, I do have torches, so um, yeah. <laughs> Let's put some lights in so we can you know, not quite so dark in here. This one where do we want it? Yeah. Put one here. Mm-hmm. It looks good. It might be a little too bright. Dope. Let's take that one out. So put that there. And to get rid of this one. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. That's not quite so bright now. That should work. <coughs> hey, it's already starting to dry. Cool. Okay. So, yeah, so as you can see, that goes all the way down. Um, and then this is going up to the tower. I actually got really lucky when I was digging this out. I was only off by about one tile from where I wanted to be. And then, uh, so I uh, started replacing and, you know, yeah, so that's where we are. Mm, I think I'm going to replace this as well. Just go ahead and close this off. Figure 
Yeah, I'm just going to close this off. Make it, just make it a secure bunker at this point. I really can't take the chance with the, uh, the increased spawn, these spawns of uh, getting overrun in here. They, they got too close last time. I really don't want to take that chance again. So, we'll finish this off. Um, like I said, I will... Do I want to just go ahead and dig that out? Or am I just going to leave it? Do we, uh, we'll see. Oh, look! Bug timer. <clears throat> yep. Great. Bug timers. Yay! But it gave me... Hmm... What if I add more? Okay. <laughs> Great. <sighs> okay. Uh, well, let's do it the easy way. There we go. We'll leave that run now. Okay, so coming back out, as you can see... Um, yeah, I repaired the damages from the horde. Um, yeah, it's just, they, they had destroyed that hallway. So, um, like I said, I really don't want to have that happen again. Um, so, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Maybe I should do some inventory. I will probably need to do some inventory in the near future. Um, what do we got? What do we got? Stone, shotgun shells. Let's, uh, yeah, actually keep those on me at this point. And I think I'm gonna actually start making some. Oh. Do I not have. Oh. Okay. I thought I had a, uh, <coughs> a lead mold. I guess not. So where did I put the rest of the clay? Come on. Stir it? No. Well, yeah. Okay, there's the clay. Okay, so... Yeah, guess I didn't make one before. Huh. Odd. Alright. Well, we have one now, and that's what matters, right? So, uh, yeah, we're gonna start mass producing shotgun. <laughs> Need the shotgun shells. Um, 70 minutes, huh? Mm. This should work to get me started at least. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. So we're gonna. Okay, since we don't need it, convert that to paper. I think I had some more books over here somewhere, didn't I? Books, 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 books. Nope. Guess not. Maybe there's some scrap metal. Well, I guess I can. Yeah, come on. I gotta have books in here somewhere. Oh, I just got more paper, though. Okay. This will work for now. So. So, yeah. Sorry, uh. A little scattered today. Trying to get everything organized. Um. So, shotgun shells. Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to, I need the lead shots. I need the I need the lead. It needs to cook a little bit. So, we got, so uh, that should be enough. Potassium. Make the gunpowder. Yeah. All right. Yay, gunpowder. Oops. I always put those backwards for some reason. So now I just need some lead. Hey, look, we've got some lead. Awesome. Next shot. Uh, 32 more. Okay. Mm, paper. Yeah, still not enough. I'll just, I need to wait for more lead. Um, so for the for now, let's put that away. Yay, reload. Okay, I should make some weapon repair kits at some point as well. But um, 
repair that. See if we can actually get us get ourselves ready for more zombie fun. Let's repair all of our stuff while we're here. Probably need to make a door at some point too. Let's see. Yeah, just go ahead and start putting some of this crap away. So, um, yeah, like I said, downstairs I'm going to do something very similar to what you saw with if, if you follow Endem um, and Games for Kicks now. Um, I'm going back to the building it uh, bedrock level. And that's where I'm going to have most of my major crafting stuff. So uh, it just, yeah, the, the changes and with what, what's been announced for Alpha 12 so far, they're, if you haven't heard, they're actually going to be changing the way that listen, the spawned loot is uh, handled. Currently, when you craft things, your crafting result is based on your level, and there's a formula that's basically plus or minus um, 50 above and below your, your current level. The result gives you your, your maximum range for uh, whatever you're making for your crafting results. And... Uh, so the world spawn is actually going to do the same thing it'll it'll no longer be you'll no longer find flawless weapons and items um, on like day two day three it'll now be dependent upon what level you actually are when you're when you're looting and uh, looking for items uh, because of that <laughs> Unless they revisit a lot of the melee combat aspects of the zombies, um, the, like the, the way that spawn or um, stunning works, it's I think it's going to make the game a lot more difficult than it already is in uh, the early day gameplay. Because one one of the redeeming factors was that if you found a a flawless spiked club or a flawless pistol, or you know a, a good shotgun or a good pistol you had a good chance of surviving um it was really easy well i shouldn't say it was really easy it was much easier to to make a go at it than it will be with a leveled system because with if you're based on your level the first couple of days unless all you are doing is hunting the zombies you know you're probably only going to be maybe level 10 to level 15 somewhere in that range by the time your day seven horde hits. Um, so depending on what you're doing, you may not actually be high enough level to really have any decent weapons. So your your weapons are gonna degrade faster, you're more likely to break. Because you're a lower level, you don't have quite the same ability to stun the, the zombies that you would at a higher level. So melee becomes almost, um, well, you saw what happened even as it is right now. You know, you, you get swarmed. It's pretty much a death sentence for you. Um, so I'm hoping that they will revisit it. I have confidence in Mad Mole and the folks over at the, and the pimps in general. They uh, tend to, they really do tend to consider these types of things when they're, when they're doing their internal testing and balancing. Um, so we'll see how that actually plays out. I don't think that they would suddenly overlook it this time when they haven't overlooked it in the past. So we'll see. Uh, upgrade this. We now have a door. Yay. Okay. I, st I have a feeling there's some zombies. I, I know I can hear them, so let's go take a look. Uh -huh. Man, they are still destroying this area out here. Okay, I guess not. Maybe... Maybe I'm getting a bit of a reprieve since we had the, the Day 7 horde come through already. Can't really see the uh, the other hut now. So... yeah. Huh. It's a little too quiet. So, okay, going back in. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, so yeah, heading back down. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So as you can see, uh, I'm taking defense of a little bit more seriously than I than I originally had um, in this in this playthrough. So uh, I was hoping to not have to to build like I normally do because I normally I would build this kind of structure just for uh, for shits and giggles. So. It's kind of disappointing to me. I don't want to say upsetting because I really wanted to try. Oh, let's see here. So yeah, they finally fixed the battle crossing. I really wanted to try something different this time, and um, with the changes that they're making, huh, interesting. Point three, point six. So it looks like. So metal trussing has the same weight as two cans. Okay. So, it, uh, yeah. It looks like if you were to melt down rebar, so you get six. So that would give me two ingots, where that gives me almost an ingot. Well, that's gruey. Interesting. So, so three rebar is one iron ore equivalent. And to make three rebar requires, yeah, so it's going to be three ingots. Let me check this. I'm rather curious because I was I was kind of trying to figure out if they had fixed the uh, the infinite iron. So for three, oh that's crazy. So basically, if you turn your iron into rebar you end up almost, and then melt the rebar, you would end up with basically twice the iron. Oh, Christ. Yeah. So, is that right? Let me check here. So eight, so yeah. <sighs> That's crazy. So you end up, yeah, you end up with um, almost twice the iron that you put into it. <laughs> Great. So uh, yeah, that looks like that's going to be uh, for those who are needing iron. You now have a uh, a new infinite iron exploit. That's. That's just crazy. I think I'm gonna. I may need to mod that out because I don't. I don't agree with that waiting. So, but eh, now we know, right? That is just. Sorry, I got distracted with it. Um. Oh, more lead. Yes. Come on, one more ingot. One more ingot. So yeah, like I was saying with the, the melee, um, I'm kind of, I'm definitely on the fence about it. I, I'm going to wait to pass judgment from my perspective on it. Um, I do think that there, there really does need to be another pass on the way that the melee system is set up currently. Um, but yeah, so I think that is going to about do it for us this time. I don't want to bore you guys too much with this. At this point, it's just um, organizing my inventory and trying to sort some of this crap out. So, let me uh, put some of this stuff away. And uh, as always, thank you guys for stopping in. I appreciate you spending some time with me. Uh, it's always nice to have folks come in. Hmm, let's see. You know what? Before I finish this, let's put... Yeah. And I'll probably put another one in here as well. 
Yeah, just put the split right there. That should do it, right? Yes, okay. So yes, like I was saying, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. Uh, if you liked the episode and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed the episode, please make sure you hit the like button. Every little bit helps. And if you didn't like the episode or you have any comments, feedbacks, or suggestions, hey, leave them in the comments below. I may not get back to you immediately, but I always try to reply. So thank you all again for stopping in today, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.